Hey, smart Christian. Someone asked, what does it mean when we see in the Bible over and over this term right hand? What does it mean when it says that Jesus is seated at the right hand? As a matter of fact, or in, in some cases, standing at the right hand. There are certain passages that we see this and it makes you wonder, what does it mean to be at the right hand? For example, in Acts 7.55, it says, but being full of the Spirit, full of the Holy Spirit, he gazed intently into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. So here's an example of Jesus standing at the right hand of God. No, matter of fact, not even seated at the right hand of God, but standing at the right hand of God. And then Ephesians 1.20, we'll pick up there, it says, which he brought about in Christ, speaking of Christ, when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. So he, we see him here sitting at the right hand, whereas in Acts 7.20, he was standing at the right hand. What does that mean to be at the right hand? Well, simply this, the right hand is simply just a place of honor. It indicates power, it indicates who you're with. It's almost like me saying that this person of mine who either works for me or he's my best friend, something like that, he's my right hand man. Now, it doesn't mean that he's literally sitting or standing at the right hand on the right side of God. Remember, God is not physical in that sense where he has a right side and left side and so forth. We use these terms sometimes to kind of help us as human beings to understand what's happening. It's called anthropomorphic terminology. So we use these anthropomorphic terms, these words where humans, that's where the word anthropos, man, can relate to God in some sort of fashion. Trying to get us to understand what's taking place is a daunting task. And so you have to employ words that us small human beings with our small thinking can kind of understand. But it clearly doesn't mean that he's literally physically on the right side of God. Matter of fact, how do we know? Look at this passage here in, uh, this is Matthew 26, 64. Look what he says. Jesus said to him, you have, you have said it yourself. Nevertheless, I tell you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power and coming in on the clouds of heaven. So if he's coming, he's not coming on the right hand side of God. That's not how he's saying it. He's, under, he's trying to get us to understand the level of, of honor and as well as power and authority that he has. And so simply put this term right hand does not mean he's physically on the right hand of God. One, because Jesus is God, but two, more to the point, he's trying to convey this power, authority of who he is as well as honor. Also, it's important to note that when we say right hand, we're also saying that this is of that person. And so when the person who is this supposed, in this case, right hand man, using our analogy, that's the person himself. And so he's also saying this and it's also being used to equate him being with or on par on the same level as God. And so when Jesus says it, when Jesus does it, it's it's God who says it. It's God who does it. And this also gives validation that when we say that, that he's also been in heaven with God. And so just so that we can know, he's not saying that he's at the physical right side of God, but it gives understanding as to who he is, the power, the authority, as well as the honor of who he is. And so hopefully this has been a benefit to you. If there are any comments, please be sure to leave some. Uh, if you have any questions, leave those as well. And we'll do our very best to try to answer those in the future.